Yo, what's going on, y'all? It's your boy, Kevin Hughes, and welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to do the vocal tutorial that everybody's been waiting for. You feel me? And I do want to apologize real quick, you know what I'm saying, just because it took forever to get the vocal tutorial out. Um, but to be real, G, like... When y'all started asking me for vocal tutorials, I was just, like, starting to get into my whole, like, YouTube vibe and, like, trying to figure out how I want to do the videos. So, like, trying to do the vocal tutorial and shit, it was just a little, y'all was just asking a little too much from your boy, like, a little too soon. <laughs> but it's it's cool now. It's cool now. You feel me? So, we gonna, we gonna go ahead and get right into it. You feel me? This is gonna be, I guess, the first Kevin Hughes vocal tutorial real quick i want to give a shout out to broduction for the comment that they left on my last vlog um thank y'all to everybody who's been leaving comments liking the videos sharing them and everything showing all kinds of support be sure to leave a comment in this video if you want to have a chance for a shout out for the next one today's video is brought to you by samsung because i i got that's the tv i got it's the tv i use you feel me all right, so in the last video, we talked about three reasons why your vocals are trash. Uh, we talked about recording properly, uh, using auto-tune correctly, and mixing with a purpose, and like not over-mixing. Um, so the first thing that we're going to talk about is recording correctly. I low-key wanted to do all of this on video where I show you the different ways uh, to record, like up close, far back. Uh, high gain, low gain, or whatever, but honestly, bro, my computer just wasn't, it wasn't going, bro, <laughs> it couldn't handle it, you feel me, I give, I give credit to all the YouTubers that be playing games and shit while they recording, because they got some, they got some shit, if they, you doing all that shit, like, it's crazy, so we gonna look at this project, it's called Show and Tell, this is a song that I'm working on right now, not really sure if I'm, like, fucking with it or not, you know what I'm saying, I didn't really write a whole lot to it, either but uh it's kind of perfect for this video just because it's not done and it does need to be cleaned up a little bit so we gonna do this one so the first track that we gonna listen to is me recording up close this is honestly my favorite way to record is recording up close um with very low gain you feel me uh, I would say about one inch away from the microphone and these vocals are all gonna be raw to start with you feel me so you're gonna hear how vocals are supposed to sound, you know, when they raw and like when they ain't got no juice on it, you feel me? How about like a show and tell? And you cannot stand it, yeah. I could tell. I pull up and you vanish, yeah. You feel me? That's that's some weak shit. That's whack, you know what I'm saying? Ain't no mix on it. Ain't no mix on it. So this next one is going to be high gain and up close too. So this is when I turn up the mic real loud and I get in uh, real close to the mic too. Pop out like a show and tell. And you cannot stand it, yeah. I could tell. I pull up and you vanish, yeah. So the vocals are a little bit louder, but it's also a little more like boomy. Uh, kind of sounds to me like it has a little more like um like distortion in it hop out like a show and tell hop out like a show and tell like it's the vocals are definitely louder they're a little more like they're a little more in your face because it, it's it, it's louder but it also has like a slight bit of distortion in it that i don't really like and then we're gonna have this um high gain with about four inches away so this is be this will be like you standing here you got the mic turned up a pretty decent amount and you gonna record from here how about like a show and tell and you cannot stand it yeah i could tell i pull up and you vanish yeah so even though i was further away from the microphone i had it turned up a decent amount you can still hear like a little bit of distortion as if i were close to it uh, so that's kind of why I like to turn my shit down and then get up close because you can, even though you're really close to it, it's not a whole lot of distortion and you can still get like a lot of detail out of my voice, 
Uh, that's why I, that's a, the main reason I record close anyway is because I like to get the detail in the voice. So I'm going to use the low gain with one inch away. You feel me? Because that's how I like to record. And I already turned up my vocals. Usually you will have to end up turning up your vocals a little bit after you record uh, with low gain because the shit is low. So uh, I already did that though. So the next step would be uh, getting your auto tune right. Uh, I already have my auto tune set here. I already um, knew what the key was and everything. As far as finding the key for the song, um, I, me personally, I don't really use anything because I know uh, I know enough about like music theory and shit to know how to find the key. Uh, so what I usually do is I'll just um, pull out this piano app on my phone. Let me pull it up real quick. But it's literally just called piano. Can is it going? Is it going to focus? There you go. There you go. So yeah, I just use this. I play the I play the melodies and I find out what key it is. Uh, there's a software called Mixed In Key that I know a lot of engineers use to find the key of a beat. Uh, I think I don't know if it's free or not. I can't even say I don't know. Um, but I know it's like one of the most popular things that engineers use to find the key for the beat so they can set their auto tune right. All right, so let's listen to it with a little auto tune. Hop out like a show and tell, and you cannot stand it, yo. I could tell, I pull up and you banish, yo. I bet. So, auto tune set, auto tune good. I think it sounds decent right now. Um, and we just gonna keep it pushing. So, the next thing that I usually like to do is add an, an equalizer to it. I'll just EQ the vocals to it. After I auto tune it, I'll, I'll put an EQ on it. I always say, this is my, this is how I do it. I always say to put your auto tune first. Always put your auto tune first because that's what's going to uh, get the the natural tone of your voice first and then it's going to tune that. If you start EQing it and compressing it and shit before you auto tune, then it's almost like, it's it's almost like confusing the auto tune a little bit because it's, it's, it's fucking with your natural voice already. And if it doesn't have a natural voice to like correct, then it's gonna like be a little weird. Um, but yeah, that's just how I like to do it. When it comes to EQ, uh, like I said before, you gotta mix with a purpose. Know exactly what you listen to your vocals. Know exactly what you know you want to change about them, and just go from there. Don't just start twisting knobs and shit. Like really listen to the vocals and and, and get a feel for what's wrong with them. I like to mix. I like to mix vocals uh, through speakers and not headphones. Um, that's just a personal preference. Ain't no right or wrong, but. Hop out like a show and tell, and you cannot stand it, yo. I could tell. I pull up and you banish, yo. Alright, so I know that it's got like a little. It's got too much mids in it. Um, too much low end. So I'm going. I'm just going to do that first. I'm gonna take out the low end. And uh, some mids, and we're gonna see how that goes. Hop out like a show and tell, and you cannot stand it, yo. I could tell. Hey, my speakers, my speakers are lower than this, so I gotta like, <laughs> I gotta listen. So don't judge me, bro. Hop out like a show and tell, and you cannot stand it, yo. I could tell. I pull up and you banish, yo. Hop out like a show and tell. And you cannot stand. I'm not really one to uh, boost highs on my vocals. Um, they just never, it never seemed to come out right to me. I know a lot of people that do that, but for me, I don't really do that. Um, so I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna flex like I try that shit. I almost did like, oh, I'm gonna boost the highs in my vocals, but nah, I don't really do that shit, man. I don't do that shit. So that's about, that's about kind of where I want it to be. Uh, if I was like really working on it right now, I would spend a little more time EQing and like pinpointing, uh, like the problems and shit. But for the sake of the video, uh, I think you got the point. I knew I, I, I sat and listened to him. It sounded like I had too much mids, too much low end, uh, messed around in that area a little bit before i move on though one thing that i will uh show you is um when i when i have a have trouble finding the problem it's like i can hear it but i don't know where it is i'll 
raise it up and just kind of move the EQ around that area to see where it it um like it kind of distorts the most or where uh like where it matches the tone that I felt was an issue. You feel me? Hop out like a show and tell and you cannot stand it, yo. I could tell. I pull up and you banish, yo. Hop out like a show and tell. And you cannot stand it, yo. So next is uh we gonna put a little compression on it. You feel me? This is where um I think I'm not sure to be honest. I think this is something that a lot of people uh they either kind of miss it or they do or they depend on it too much. I always do compression last um just because to me like that's that's what's going to give you that little bit of shine. That's what's going to really pull shit together. So when you start when you're doing all this EQ, all this other shit, you throw the compressor on at the end and it kind of makes it it, it kind of like it's almost like you packing a suitcase, right? You put, <laughs> it's like you putting all your clothes in it, you know what I'm saying? And you filling it all the way up to the top, and it's like, damn, that shit barely gonna fit. But when you throw that shit on, you put that shit on top, you sit on that bitch, you zip it up, you know what I'm saying? That's the compressor. You feel me? Make everything work together, make everything super tight, you know what I'm saying? Make everybody, all the all the effects, all the uh, plugins that's involved and makes them all friends and make them all, you know what I'm saying, give each other a big group hug. You feel I me? Mean? That's that's what it is. That's the compressor. When it comes to compression, usually it's not a whole lot of rules to it. Um, just make it sound good, uh, but just don't, just don't go too hard. Like I'll show you how I do it, so maybe that'll make make, make a little sense. Hop out like a show and tell, and you cannot stand it, yo. I could tell. I pull up and you banish, yo. Hop out like a show and tell, and you cannot stand it, yo. I could tell. I pull up and you banish, yo. Hop out like a show and tell, and you cannot stand it, yo. I could tell I pull up and you banish yo I'm starting to notice that the end of that uh, the end of this audio um I think I was like looking away from the mic or something but I would do that over I'd be like I pull up and you vanish yeah I would say that a little more clear so when I use my compressor I I try to I pull up and you banish yo I try to get it man just just listen to it and like Mess around with the threshold, the ratio, and the and the gain. Uh, if you don't know what these three these three things mean, uh, I might have to just do that in another video because I don't want to make this video too long. Um, but this is kind of how I do it: threshold, you know, not too much, not really going down too far. Ratio, not too much, and you know, whatever that does to the audio, usually it's going to turn it down. Uh, or usually it's going to sound like um, the volume is a little lower on the vocal, so I'll use the gain to, you know, compensate for that. Hop out like a show and tell. And it's sounding pretty decent right now, so let's let's see how it sounded at first when it was raw. I'm going to take off all three of these plugins. Hop out like a show and tell. Yeah, that should sound whack, so <laughs> we're going to put that back. Hop out like a show and tell. You know what I'm saying? Like, and you cannot sound a little cleaner. I'm gonna put it on top of the instrumental. Hop out like a show and tell. And you cannot stand it, yo. I could tell. I pull up and you banish, yo. You know what I'm saying? Real smooth, like real clean. I would put a little more, um, yeah, I would put a little more work on the EQ side of it, but. It's, it came along pretty fast, um, pretty pretty smoothly too. We didn't really run into no issues like that. Um, after this though, like I would put a little more, like I said, I'll put a little more work in the EQ, but I would do that on uh, the bus for my, my vocals. Now I know I said that the compression is last, and it is. It's always last on the channel that you're mixing your vocals on. You feel me? But when you get to the part after that when you need to do a little bit more 
I would send it to another channel and put an EQ on that so it EQs all the vocals and puts them all on the level playing field. You feel me? So even here, you can kind of see that I was still having some issues with the low end, a little bit of the mids, you feel me? And having a little bit of the hiss, so I just dropped all of it down. And this is what it will sound like after, after all that. How about like a short tail? And you cannot stand it, yeah. I can tell. I pull up and you vanish, yeah. You feel me? It just keeps, it gets a little bit more clean. Um, just a little bit more polish on top. And you know what? You know, you're good to go. You feel me? So, I mean, like I said in the last video, man, it doesn't take a whole lot to get your vocals sounding clean. Uh, you can see here, like, I used three plugins. I used three plugins on the audio track that I was mixing, and I used one extra one on top just to give it a little more polish. So hopefully this video was helpful for y'all, man. I know that y'all been waiting a good minute for something like this. Hopefully it was all that y'all expected it to be. Uh, I'm really not that good of a teacher, so I did my best, man. I ain't really, you know what I'm saying? Sorry if I, like, moved a little too fast on some parts. Uh, if you got any questions, though, like, leave them in the comments, and I'll, I'll answer your questions about anything that, that was in the video. You feel me? So, um, thank y'all so much again for y'all patience on this and, and um, even just pushing me to do the, the vocal tutorials and everything because, honestly, man, if it weren't for y'all, I wouldn't even be doing a video like this, and it's pushing me out of my comfort zone, and I appreciate y'all for doing that. So, thank y'all so much. I appreciate y'all for watching, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Cotton or satin, it don't make a difference. Part of my habits, I probably won't listen. Whip automatic, but still I be sharing.